scarred by the solar eclipse. A woman's eyes damaged, even though she says she was wearing eye protection. Good evening, I'm Dick Brennan. Welcome back to the broadcast. I'm Christine Johnson. The Staten Island woman was one of thousands in our area last Monday who wanted to see the eclipse. But now her eyes might be permanently damaged. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez has her story and how to know if you may have also suffered eye damage. That's right. You know, Dick and Christine, People think either you're blind or you're okay after the eclipse, but in reality, the damage can be subtle. It's not actually a burn of the retina, the photosensitive layer at the back of the eye. Rather, the sun releases free radicals in the retina that cause chemical damage that may not show up for many hours later. Nia Payne knew not to look at the sun during last week's solar eclipse unless she used protective glasses. She didn't have any, but a stranger on the street offered to let her use hers. It was like dark gray. It was a little bright, but I didn't know what solar eclipse glasses were supposed to look like. So but I looked into the sun for 30 seconds. That was it. But that's all it took. The rest of the day, she was reading and writing normally. Then towards maybe 10 o'clock at night, that's when I know it's like, hey, I see the after, Im after image of the sun still in my eyes. You know, it wouldn't go away. And then I realized, oh, no. Nia went to the clinic at Mount Sinai's New York Eye and Ear Infirmary, where Dr. Chris Wu examined her. Complaining of central blurry vision, distortion of colors, like seeing a purplish yellow after image. Um, possibly seeing a blind spot too in both eyes when she reads. Retinal specialist Dr. Avnish Deobakta showed me Nia's retina scans that confirmed the damage in the fovea, the depressed area of the retina where sharp, detailed vision is centered. The sun has caused damage to the outer retinas, the ones that are furthest down and that's causing her decreased vision. There's no specific treatment for this damage, but some of it may improve with time. And while you would think that eclipse eye damage is obvious, Dr. Deobakta says not necessarily. If you're having blurry vision that's been persistent since the eclipse, um, if you're having holes in your visions or spots since the eclipse, or if you're having light sensitivity or generalized discomfort, and all of this you can point to having happened since the eclipse, I would encourage anyone to come in. Now, Nia is taking certain vitamins that doctors gave her that are high in antioxidants and nutrients to try to limit any more retinal damage and support whatever healing might take place, but some of the damage is likely permanent. It made all the sadder because Nia tried to do the right thing, but I have to tell you, she's got a really terrific outlook. I mean, she's, you know, she knows that it's a problem, but she's going to move forward. Taking care of it, yeah. yeah. But 30 seconds is all it took. She looked right up at the sun, and wow. you're, you're looking at it right there, and it's burning. Wow. Apparently so.